Hi there, I'm Christine the Gemini Stitcher and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, So Yellow for Endo competition entries have to be posted on Saturday and we're on Thursday and I've still not made anything. I don't know about you, but there's been so much going on this month. Everything's got a bit chaotic and behind and Esme distracts me as well quite regularly. So I bobbed on and I thought I would tell you a little bit about the competition but by now you should all know. So Yellow for Endo is run by the lovely Jess. She runs it every year for endometriosis awareness and to raise money for the charity. So if you want to take part you need to click on the link for her Just Giving page, which we'll put in the details below, pay at least a pound, but, you know, a bit more if you can. And then post your entry on Instagram on Saturday. Tag Jess in, and when you pay your Just Giving, you need to give your Instagram name in the comments when you make your payment so that you can match it up to your entry on Instagram and then you'll go into the draw to win some amazing prizes and we all love winning prizes don't we so yes we are on the last minute I know I've got three days to make you know because I like making more than one garment so I've had a little look in my wardrobe found some inspiration patterns that are quick makes quick makes and i've pulled out five top patterns that use jersey fabrics because then you can just whisk them up on your overlocker jobs are good so shall we have a look at what i found well now this is what i've made and i'm going to be submitting because it's kind of yellow and i'll get away with the mustard and it's a free pattern so it's going to be my soul frugal entry as well or one of them it is the Miranda t-shirt from Tiana's Closet and I've lengthened the sleeves on this one for the spring because I'm really not into making things for competitions that I'm never going to wear. If I don't think it works for me and my wardrobe then I won't enter but I thought so like yellow for endo I love mustard and I've got lots of that colour in my wardrobe so I can make some more things to go with it. So this is the first one, it's the Miranda Tea from Tiana's Closet and I will pop the links for these tops in the details as well. Loved making it, made it in a couple of hours, played around with the stripes as well. I think the longest time was cutting it out because I wanted to do a bit of pattern matching on the stripes and play around with them. Love the fit of it and I will definitely be making some more. So that is quick top number one. Number two is the A Dream Blouse from Friday Pattern Company. And this one is definitely got yellows and oranges in it. Obviously, I can't enter it because it's already in my wardrobe. But I do want another one of these for the spring. Wore this loads last year. And you can make it in any kind of jersey fabric. You can make it in a French terry if you want. You can make it in velour. You can make it in stretch. So your fabric doesn't have to be yellow, yellow. It can just have a bit of yellow in it. And it will get entered. So the Adrian Blouse Friday Pattern Company. It's a quick couple of hour make again from start to finish. Might make one of those. Now number number three. Excuse this, it needs ironing. <laughs> has been in my wardrobe for oh, since lockdown started. It's one of the first tops that I made in lockdown. And I absolutely wore this to death, you can probably tell. So I, I'm due a replacement. And it's in a French terry. It's the Jennifer Lauren Gable top. 
and I've made mine in, as I said, in French terry. It has a bit of shaping in the sides, but it's just the front, the back, and the sleeves, and then the neckline is just finished. If you want turned over, you can put twill on there, or you can just leave it as I've done. And again, done in a couple of hours. So that's three things I can make. I'm getting there. Now, number four was my favourite t-shirt make from last year. I think I made about three or four of these and it is the Galaxy T. How beautiful is that with the puff sleeves? Now this one again has got a nod to yellow in the flowers. So I could have done this in the competition. I might have done last year actually. But I wore them to death. And I do want to make a couple more of them this year. So if I can find some fabric with a bit of yellow in, I might whiz up some galaxy tees. And then last but not least, I thought I had to show this because it is, it is yellow, yellow, yellow. <laughs> this was a French terry fabric that I got from Flamingo Fabrics a long time ago. And I made the Tilly and the Buttons pearl wrap top in it. Now, this takes a bit longer than the others because of just the amount of sewing, but it's easily doable in an afternoon or a day max from cutting out to sewing to done. And this is the long sleeve version. They do it as a short sleeve as well, and I'm thinking I want some short sleeve ones as a change from t-shirts in the summer. I can layer it up then with something underneath as well. So maybe I will make a pearl for so yellow for endo, obviously. Can't enter this one because it's already in my wardrobe. So they're the five tops that I'm planning on using for so yellow for endo well at least one of them anyway i hope it's given you some inspiration and if you were sitting on the fence then jump in join in win some prizes donate to a charity that needs all the help we can give it and let's help jess in her mission to raise awareness of endometriosis and have some fun along the way Hope I've given you some inspiration and I will see you all again soon.